everybody, I'm Molly Stanberry and you're watching MacMost, the video podcast that shows you how to get the most from your Mac, iPod, Apple TV, and your iPhone. This week, Steve Jobs threw us a bone and announced 10 of Leopard's 300 new features at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. Leopard will feature a 3D desktop, have advanced network search functions, and include Quick Look, a feature that will allow you to preview files without launching a viewer application. The newest version of OS X will retail for $129 and will ship in October. Also announced was the public beta of the newest version of Safari, Apple's native web browser for Mac and Windows. The beta is aimed at converting some of the PC users who love iTunes into PC users who love Safari and eventually into lovers of all things Mac. Hello and welcome to Windows Planet. I'm Internet Explorer. Today we'll look for the elusive .bat file and we'll visit a wild pack of .dll files and come face to face with a dangerous .exe. Hello! Who are you? I'm Safari. I'm new here. Safari. I remember you from a few years ago when I spent some time in the Macintosh jungle. Shouldn't you be back there? I wanted to come over here for some excitement. We don't have many dangerous files over in the Mac jungle. I want to see some action. Well, plenty of it here. Did you bring your virus protection? No. Oh, well, you're going to need it. Viruses are as thick as mosquitoes over here. Hey, look! I think I just saw a Firefox. Quick, let's get it. Do you want to know a quick way to create a new folder? Simply use the keyboard shortcut Command Shift N. This will instantly create your new folder. The folder will appear ready for you to give it a new name. And here's Jay to show us how to create a spam filter in Mail. Hi, this is Jay from MacMost.com, and today I want to show you how to apply a filter to your email in, as a, a method to get rid of some spam. Uh, I don't know, you probably get some spam in your email inbox that uh, contains these nice little images that try to sell you drugs or something. And the reason that they use images in the email is so that your spam filter doesn't catch uh, any keywords like uh, Cialis or pharmacy or something like that. So um, what I'm going to do is show you how to implement a quick little filter that takes out uh, JPEG images from your mail and sends those messages to uh, your junk mail folder. Okay, so if I go to Mail Preferences and then I go over to the Rules tab and then we'll go ahead and we'll add a rule. and We'll call this rule JPEG Junk Filter. Okay, and so we're going to say if all these conditions are met and the first condition is is if any attachment names contains dot jpg which is the jpeg extension and then we'll also go ahead and add another uh, rule here where it says that if the sender is not in my address book and they're sending me a jpeg we'll move the message to the macmost junk filter and then we'll go ahead and hit ok and then we'll say, do you want to apply the rule to the messages in your open mailboxes? And you go, yes. And if you'll notice that uh, my message has gone ahead and moved over here to my junk folder. This has been Jay from MacMost.com. And that's one way to apply an image filter to get rid of spam in mail. Have you ever wanted to watch WMV files on your Mac? Now you can use Flip for Mac, which enables you to watch Windows media videos within QuickTime. You can download the free application at flipformac.com. MacMost Loot is our contest segment where we come up with an Apple-related question or challenge and send a randomly drawn winner a prize. Last week we asked when did the first Apple store or stores open and where. The answer is that the first two Apple stores opened on the 19th of May 2001 in Glendale, California and McLean, Virginia. This week's challenge is what was the common name of the Apple PDA sold from 1993 to 1998? Send your answers to loot at macmost.com. Thanks for watching the MacMost video podcast. 
If you want to contact us or would like to sponsor an episode of MacMost, you can email us at podcast at macmost.com. Be sure to visit our website for the latest news and to vote on the stories that you think are the most interesting. We post tutorials and tips to our site throughout the week, where you can subscribe to the show. You can also subscribe to us using iTunes, so tell your friends and don't be shy, leave us a review. This is Molly Stanberry for MacMost. I'll see you next week. That is so <laughs> that it will not even make it <laughs> It will not be there. It will not, I guarantee you that will This is not the outtake you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs>